Death Watch. This is Blake Seven Series Three. We're getting close to the end of Season Three. Um, I love this season. I love all the characters. The stories are all pretty good. This one is one of my favorites. Okay, <laughs> um, we're gonna review it using my space system: story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Two is the best you can get. You're gonna be there. There's twos everywhere on this one. Starting with the storyline, a two out of two. We are introduced to Dita Taran, who in about three minutes of screen time is like the damn best character already. Blake Seven, uh, we'll talk to, about the characters, but they've got this amazing ability to make awesome characters very quickly, little dialogue. We'll get to it. So Dita Taran uh, is representing, um, I think it's the Teal. There's the Teal Vandor um war going on sort of they, they they're at odds with each other these two these two factions but they fight their wars with one person so this is not a new concept um i've i've seen this many times before what makes it cool is that they've added a little bit of a blake seven twist to it so there's not just oh they're gonna pick they've got dita tarrant and they've got this guy Vinny, i think was his name um and they're gonna fight each other and the winner represents the winner in the war so that therefore that faction wins however the uh vinny is an android now that that and nobody knows that and that's not allowed <clears throat> now servalan knows that and she is the arbiter and she's got this kind of side hustle going where she wants a actual proper war to take place not just this easy one-on-one -on -one. um if you remember there's the star trek episode where they were using computers to fight the war something similar ish um, another cool aspect of this is that they've got these little discs that you can put on your head and each guy has a different color. And if you put it on your head, um, you can see through that guy's, uh, uh, through that guy's eyes and feel his emotions and stuff. So cool. Many, many cool ideas. There's also just general awesome plot details <laughs> where like, uh, Dell has not met his brother in years, it's like seven, eight years or whatever it was. And um, they never actually meet, which is crazy. Uh, but um, there's one part where Avon is like, well, why don't we, uh, he goes, you don't have any anything against like cheating and lying and stealing. And so he's like, oh no. <laughs> it's like, just like little plot details. Um, they get Dana to uh, to uh, see the, the battle through the opponent's eyes, which leads to her saying, you know, this guy was more like waiting to, for to stuff to react because that's how an android would be an android is not it, it's not it wasn't determined to do anything it was like okay i'll just you know fire back or i'll uh, attack back and you know that that makes it ki kind of neat in a way he's just fast right so the android is just much faster than a human so he doesn't really need to be that um determined to to win he's just like well a guy comes and attacks me i'll shoot him like i don't know it's really neat the way they did, did this episode awesome uh, pacing is two out of two, man. I was, this is a fast paced one for me. I loved it. I could have watched it again. I watched the whole episode. You could just record, just replayed it right there and watch it again. It's so good. I think it's top five episodes. I have to think about it, but top five. Um, artistry, I'm giving it two out of two. Again, artistry in Blake Seven, I judge it by number of locations, you know, objects, cool things. So they had a few different locations for the battles for these two guys. They had different sets. It wasn't just the Liberator. Um, they went back and forth between a few different locations, which is cool. Uh, so I like that. I think, I mean, I you, you could ding it a little bit saying, well, <clears throat> there's no space battle in this one. So you could ding it a little bit, but I just can't because I, I, I really want this episode <laughs> to get the score that it's going to get because um, I just love it so much. It's almost some, sometimes it's like I was just so drawn into the, the world of it that I wasn't thinking too much like, you know, what are the effects like or whatever. For the characters, a two out of two because I absolutely love every character in this. Servalan is awesome. Uh, Avon comes to her and she's like, oh, I see Orac uh, helped you out. And he's like, yes, it was worth every penny you almost paid for it. <laughs> and he's like, Servalan, your plan better be fireproof. Or I'm going to take you down. And then he kisses her. Oh, it's so good. Um, Del Tarrant is great. I love Tarrant. Um, He's back to form on this one. I felt he was a little bit too mean to Villa the last one, but he's sort of back to normal now. Um, Dana did a lot. Callie did a lot. This is one of these ones where everyone did something. Um, Villa didn't, well, Villa didn't really do anything, but 
he was there just to be kind of fun and he was the one who suggested going there so i guess he's the one you know who who kind of got them on their way but most of the characters had at least something plot wise to do so that's good it's tough to have all the characters do something every time uh, but they managed to do it pretty good on this one dita tarrant i thought that guy was awesome um how he was like i don't know just like his the, the delivery you know um stephen pacey this guy's awesome he's a great actor i mean they're completely different characters and i could sense that they're different and you do start to lose yourself in the story and be like wow yeah this is the th the two brothers i think <clears throat> they did uh better with that brother than they did with was it zelda who is uh, callie's sister or you know pod mate or whatever <laughs> whatever they are uh yeah it was, it was so great enjoyment factor two out of two it's a 10 i love this episode um i don't care um it just it's just so awesome to me because I got into this story with this this faction and, and I think it was Dita Tarrant that really made it better. He he felt like there's there if he felt like a real person, you know, it's like, oh I've gotta do this job, but it's not that great, but you know, I'm gonna do the best I can. Even his handler, that guy was a great role. And he's like, Oh sorry, I'm not being very good. He's like, No, no, you're doing you're doing fine, you're doing a great job. Like that guy was cool too. Like everybody was was great in this one. This is just one of my favorite TV anything episodes of anything. Blake Seven is my third favorite show, and um, this episode is a prime example of why. Um, so good, so many ideas, great stuff. That's it. Please check out the playlist, like the video, subscribe. That's it. Until next time.